Hello friends, I am Dr. Deepak Garg, I am consultant orthopedic surgeon and today we will discuss about posterior approach to soft humerus. So we first talk about position, we will keep the patient in a lateral decubitus position, we will keep the operative arm up and uh, we will uh, keep the arm in 90 degree of abduction and we will keep forearm hanging and uh, we will usually not use tourniquet in this approach. Then after the painting draping, we will mark our skin incision, we will mark the olecranon, tip of the olecranon and the center of the arm on the posterior aspect. So we will take mark of vertical uh, incision mark. So this is a longitudinal incision in the midline of the arm and from 8 centimeter below the acromion to the olecranon fossa. So this is our skin incision. So we will cut the skin and then we will have the subcute in front of us, then we will cut uh, the fascia in line with the skin incision. So this is a very uh, safe zone. So once we cut it, then we little bit uh, should understand about the anatomy. So the triceps muscle has three head, lateral head, long head and medial head. So the uh, on the posterior aspect, we will have on the lateral side, lateral head, on the medial side, long head. So the point, so this is the point where these two heads will join and make a common tendon. So this point is called the point of confluence. So when we will have a incision, so we need to identify this point, the point of confluence because then we will have to identify the radial nerve. So radial nerve will approx lies, usually lies approximately 1 to 3 centimeter proximal to this confluence. So uh, once we identify the confluence, we will incise it, we will cut the tendon uh, in line with the skin incision, we will separate the tendon with a seizure and uh, we will have the muscle, we will keep on separating the individual fi fibers of the muscles that we have with the seizures and uh, keeping in mind that the nerve is coming from the medial side will, along the spiral groove will go towards the lateral, we will keep on incising the muscle and then we have to uh, identify the radial nerve. So it is better to begin proximally than to begin distally. So uh, we, it is better that if we can identify the point of confluence before we start incising the triceps because that will help us identify the radial nerve easier. There will be less chances of injury to the radial nerve. So when we will develop interval between the two heads, red, uh, lateral head, the long head, so it is easier to identify the radial nerve. So once we identify the radial nerve, then we separate the radial nerve from uh, uh, proximal to distal. So uh, we should know that it will uh, pass from medial to lateral and then it will cross into the anterior compartment. So uh, it should be separated and then we can, we have muscle uh, and periosteum in front of us. We incise the periosteum, we expose the bone and uh, then we can do our procedure, whether it is plating or whatever we want to do. So this was about the posterior approach. So thank you for watching this video. Thank you guys. Thank you very much.